Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation on grace. Today is the 9th of January and I would like to read in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 14. For this reason I bow my knee before the Father. For this reason I bow my knee before the Father. Which, which reason is that? He was actually talking about the encouragement that he would like the church to have. And um, because he was in prison and um, he didn't want them to be thinking, wow, that's the end, that's terrible, what is going on, why is Paul in prison? And he's saying that his sufferings for is actually for the God's cause, it's for the church, it's for their glory. Isn't that amazing? And then he bowed the knee before the Father. He's going to tell us as well uh, further on why he's doing that. But we can understand here that Paul, when he was in prison, he wrote to, to a few churches and he wrote a, a, a few letters and at least four of them are in our New Testament. And uh, it is amazing to see what Paul was teaching them from the prison. And one thing that Paul was teaching them from that prison is, was to give thanks. As he says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20, giving thanks in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father at all times for, and for everything. At all times and for everything to give thanks to God. The power that, that, um, that has be, been given us to use our tongues, to use the, the, the languages that we speak to give thanks. Isn't that amazing? We have learned by reading the Bible that there is a law uh, called the Lord of the Seed, and 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 it says that everything that you you plant, you you everything you have, you you grow, you you sow, you are going to harvest. Everything. So why not use our mouth to proclaim the glory of God, to give thanks to God in everything? All times, he says here, not just to, when we go to church, but at all, at all times. So when you are at home, when you are walking, when you are, you are working, to use your tongue, to use your mouth to proclaim God's glory, to give thanks to God in everything. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17 says this, and whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. At all times, in everything, in using our words and deeds as well. In everything, we, we, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we will give thanks to God. If he was on holiday, what he's saying here would be valid, would be very important. But because he's in prison, it seems to me that it's even more important. I mean, not that it's more important, but we should really pay attention to what he's saying here. Because this is a man who is, who is in prison for something that he hadn't done. He's completely innocent. And instead of claiming that he's innocent, he's actually encouraging the church to give thanks to God. In everything, because he was giving thanks to God in the fact that he was in prison, not because he was in prison, but he was giving thanks to God even when he was in prison. We we read that in Philippians. We are going to might read it another day. And to, uh, our last verse today is in Colossians chapter two, verse seven: rooted and built up in Him, established in faith, just as you were taught, and abounding in thanksgiving. Interesting that you can grow in thanksgiving, you can abound in thanksgiving, you can keep on going forward in thanksgiving. It's not like, uh, um, it's more like the water that I know in, uh, in the country where I live, which has become my country as well. And in the village where I live here in the Basque country, uh, there is this huge river called Adur that comes from the Pyrenees, which are now covered in snow. And this snow will melt, and it, and then this river will come down to to our village, and then it's on its way to the ocean, uh, about um, 20, 22 kilometers from our village. And as it, as it goes through these plains, the plains and the valleys of this beautiful part of France, 
it will give life. It's not a stagnant water. It is living water that goes from the mountains to the Bay of Biscay in the Atlantic Ocean here. That's your life. You are like this river or like any other river that gives life. Everything that comes out of your mouth, everything that you do, as he says here, word and deed, should be for the glory of God. When you give thanks, when you thank, when you give grace to God, when you when you bless your brother and your sister with with your mouth and with what you do, you are like just like that river. The the contrary, the other the other the other way of living and doing things is also true. Curse will bring bring a curse. Blessings will be bring blessings as well. And everything you, you give, you give because you have received it. Then it shows that there is maturity there. Every time you open your mouth, we, we will see the glory of God coming out of what you say. Instead of curse, there will be blessings. So I encourage you to do like Paul, to, fall, to bow your knee before the Father and glorify him for the wonderful work that he has done in other, peop other people's lives in Ephesians. He's thanking God for his church, for his family, for the beauty of this church. God bless you.